Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Paolo Bersamina and Jan Gustafsson. This game was played in Thailand in 2017. Bersamina had white pieces and he started with e4. Jan Gustafsson played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish opening. a6, bishop to a4, knight to f6, Bersamina, castled kingside, b5, bishop to b3, bishop to c5, white to move. c3 intending d4 is the most played move. Bersamina played knight takes pawn on e5, temporarily sacrificing the knight. Knight takes knight, d4, bishop takes on d4, queen takes bishop, d6, c3, c5 attacking the queen, queen to d1, and Gustafsson castle kingside 2. f3. Another way to defend the pawn on e4 would be bishop to g5 pinning the knight. f3, d5, e takes on d5, bishop to f5. Black has done well in the opening. Bishop to c2, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, and now c4. Bishop to e3, knight takes pawn on d5. Material is equal, but black is standing better. Bishop to d4. Now knight to d3. What a beautiful outpost for the knight. Knight to d2. Black to move. Knight from 5 to b4. Rook to e8. Seems like a good move too. We have knight from 5 to b4. Attacking the queen. Queen to b1. What else? If c takes on b4, queen takes on d4, check, winning the game. So we have a queen to b1, rook to e8, knight to e4, f5, knight to f2, challenging the knight on d3, maybe. Rook to e2, b3, and now knight to c2. C takes on b3 would be a mistake because of queen takes on b3 check. Back to our game. Knight to c2, attacking the rook. And now the rook on a1 is writing his last fill. He decided to leave everything to his children, although they never visit him. The game continued. B takes on c4. B takes on c4. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight, king to h1, black to move. What would you do? Would you take the rook? Gustafsson was not in a hurry. He played rook to b8, attacking the queen. Queen to d1, and now queen to g5. Very kind gesture of Gustafsson, allowing white to save the rook. Rook to g1. What happens if white saves the rook? Then queen takes on g2. Checkmate. So queen to g5 was a pretty good move, wasn't it? Rook to g1. And now knight takes rook. White move, and white has a problem. If he takes the knight, then what happens? If queen takes, then d2. And after queen to d1, rook from b to e8 and black is winning. The pawn is very dangerous. So, Bersamina played queen takes pawn on d3. Rook from b to e8, f4 attacking the queen. This is a pawn sacrifice for a little trick. Queen to g6 was played. Well, what is the trick? If queen takes on f4, then queen to c4 check. And if now king to h8, then bishop takes on g7 check, king takes bishop, queen takes queen. 
However, black does not have to play king to a check. He can play rook from 8 to e6 and after queen to c8 check, king to f7. And black is still winning. But Gustafsson didn't want to bother about all this. He played queen to g6. He had a plan of his own. Bishop to e5, cutting the communications between two rooks. Rook takes pawn on a2. c4, threatening. Rook or bishop takes knight on a1. How to save the knight? Hmm, how would you save the knight? Gustafsson played queen to c6. And now, if bishop takes on a1, rook takes on g2. If rook takes on g2, rook to e1 is winning. And what else? If rook takes on a1, then queen takes on g2. Checkmate. So, Belsamina played h3. Knight to c2. Queen to b3. Forking two pieces. What would you do now? What is the best move for black in this position? Gustafsson played rook to a3, attacking the queen. Queen takes knight. Black to move. What would you do? Please pause and find a decent continuation for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this decent move? Rook takes pawn on h3. Check. Mate. Wow. Well, what do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.